We've lightly touched on using profiles to create your listings faster when using Inkfrog in other videos. But let's dig a bit deeper and see what else we're able to do using master, listing, shipping, return, and payment profiles. Listing profiles are eBay category specific, so if you're selling products that will share the same eBay subcategory, listing profiles would be very useful for you when creating new listings. So let's access profiles, then listing profiles. If you have existing profiles, you're able to edit, rename, copy, delete, or view the library listings linked to that profile. You may also create new profiles by selecting the Create New Listing Profile button. When creating a new listing profile, enter a profile name and optional description to identify the profile to yourself. Select the eBay account and market as well as the eBay category and secondary eBay category if desired. But please note that eBay does charge an additional fee for using the secondary category option. Once you've selected the eBay category, select your listing format and duration, add charity details if applicable, or leave those fields blank. Select private listing, international site visibility, and lot size if necessary. Choose whether this profile will be used for product variants or not. You may also set the item condition, enter condition description, and note that condition description is ignored by eBay if the item condition value of new is selected, and enter any other item specifics available for the selected category. Set your item location, so country, postal code, and city, state, or province. Select a template if you've created and saved a template design in Inkfrog. Set the best offer options if applicable to your listing, and then choose Save. Next we have shipping profiles, and these work similarly to listing profiles. We may edit or create new. Let's edit this example. When editing a profile, make any necessary changes and then select Save. In this example, we'll update our handling time to two days. Once Save is selected, any listing linked to this profile will automatically be updated to use the new profile settings. We also can bulk link this profile to existing listings. We'll go over that later in this video. We also have return and payment profiles to save or update any return policies for eBay and payment methods accepted. Please remember that these profiles are eBay account specific if you're using multiple eBay accounts within one Inkfrog account, and they're also eBay market specific. For example, in our return profiles, we have an eBay.com, an eBay Canada, and an eBay Motors return profile since they're all separate eBay markets. When creating new listings, you're able to quickly link the profiles to add your default listing information instead of filling out each new listing form manually, and this is a huge time saver. First access listings and then create new listing. Scroll to the listing profile and select the link button. Choose your listing profile and then link selected. Do this for shipping return and payment profiles as well, and see how quick and easy that was? You can make it even faster. While you cannot update existing listings using master profiles, you can create masters to help create new listings really quickly. So let's navigate to Profiles and then Master Profiles and select Create New Master Profile. What you're looking at is basically the entire Create New Listing page, but we're going to be selective in what we fill out here and save it as a master profile. First, let's set the eBay account in Market, link a listing profile, return shipping and payment profiles to, then choose Save as a Master Profile, name your profile, then Save Profile. Load the Create New Listing page, select Prefill from Master Profile, choose the profile name, and select Prefill from Selected. We just filled out the listing page and there's very minimal information left to add, which is very specific to the product listing you're creating. So basically images, description, title, quantity, package details. Enter those details and you're ready to send the listing to eBay. Now that's fast. Also, since we linked the individual profiles to the master profile, we can quickly and easily update the listing details by editing the linked profiles. So just remember, updating a master profile does not bulk edit your listings. However, editing the linked listing shipping return and payment profile will bulk update the listings simply by editing the profiles. Let's go back now and discuss bulk editing listings by linking profiles. Let's imagine that you have a certain set of listings you've created a new shipping profile for, with different shipping options available. We're able to bulk change those shipping settings across multiple listings within the library. So my main shipping profile offers free shipping, but for listings above 19 dollars 
I want to start charging a flat rate shipping cost of $5. I know I've already created my flat rate shipping profile for $5 domestic shipping. So within the library, select the listing checkboxes or set a filter to sort the listings. In this case, I want to set a filter for prices greater than $19.99. Next, use the Select All checkbox, then click Bulk Actions. Choose Listing Actions, then Assign Profile, select the Shipping Profile, and then the Profile Name. The library defaults to 50 listings per page. You can change this to a max value of 250 listings per page by setting a filter for page size. However, in this instance, I want to bulk edit my shipping profile for all listings greater than $19.99. Once the profile name is selected, you're able to choose to edit only those 50 listings that were selected by choosing the Assign Profile button, or select the link to assign to all 128 listings matching the current search. Remember, my current search is prices greater than $19.99. So I'm going to select that link and edit all 128 listings. Now that was quick and easy. The bulk revisions will go into a queue to process and should be completed within the next few minutes. Also, if you have questions at any time, please reach out to our customer care team by selecting the help icon within your account or simply email open at inkfrog.com.